What's up guys? Welcome to the video. On the video today we're going to talk about the PowerTech Mark Mini. So as I get out here today, it's obviously into November, trying to beat the weather. Luckily we've had some very nice days. Today and tomorrow are going to be some nice days, so I'll be able to get some filming done. But the rain's coming, the cold's coming, so I'm starting to plan and get ready for that. In the meantime, PowerTech has supplied me with the Mark Mini. The Mark Mini here is a mounted handgun style uh, weapons light. So we're going to go through the unboxing. If you're not into unboxings, you can certainly fast forward to the, the meat and potatoes of it. I'm also going to mount this on various different weapons, uh, keeping in mind the monetization rules as far as YouTube video goes. Uh, they will not be real weapons. They'll be fake weapons that look like real weapons. So let's get into the video. Okay now, so for the unboxing portion of this video, I'm going to show you here. The Mark Mini comes in relatively small box, um, 4 to 5 inches tall. Uh, if you had a store, you certainly could hang a lot of these in a small amount of space. It promotes, let's see if you can see it there, 600 lumens at a distance of 320 meters max. No hassle, lifetime warranty. Big, big feature as far as flashlight companies go. PowerTech uh, leads the industry here. So some of the things they claim, uh, high output, long run time, extremely long throw, compact size, magnetic, magnetic charging, that's important. Quick detach rail mount and the sliding rail between the light and the Picatinny rail. Will you enable to move the suitable position for the pistols of different sizes? And I'll show you that too. So let's get into this box here. Alright, so we're going to remove the light. Um, the first thing I want you to notice is the size. For comparison... My good old trusty here, this is one of my first power attack flashlights, uh, E5. E5 is standard size, even though this is an older light, um, the M5G2, uh, E11, uh, they're all this size. So, uh, this, like I said, it's a standard size flashlight, and this flashlight, if you can see, is substantially smaller. So it looks like here with the, the lens, Got a polished lens on the inside. The reflector should throw that light pretty good. On the, this is actually the bottom because the light is mounted this way. On the bottom here, you have the magnetic charging port. You get the lens and the light itself up on the one end. You got some identifiers here on the side, the Mark Mini illuminator. And then you have the rail mounting system. So let's, uh, let's get this mounted. And you can see some di various different types. All right, welcome to my office here. So we're gonna take various different types of, now remember these are not real firearms. These are fake firearms that look very, very similar to real firearms. So, um, first one to go, this is a competition Glock. We're gonna mount it on the competition Glock. If you didn't know, Glocks have this rail on the bottom. Okay, so it looks like it comes with two different size wrenches here. I'm going to take the larger one. Um, as you can see, depending on where your, um, you remove the, the light altogether, depending on where your rail sits and how far this groove in is for you to attach your light, depends on how much uh, relief you have. Now, this is a competition Glock, so the barrel is much longer than a standard Glock. As you can see, the barrel comes just to the end of this rail on this one. On this one, it sticks out substantially further. Uh, mostly because you got the um, muzzle brake, um, that's done by Magnaport, and you got all this length in the barrel for accuracy. Like I said, this is uh, my competition Glock. So on a weapon like this, it's nice to be able to take that light and push it out some. Because if you don't, some of the light that protrudes from this, this light will actually hit the bottom of the barrel. In essence, limiting how far you could see or uh, limiting the effectiveness of this light. Allowing that to adjust it forward is really neat. And then guys, uh, simple activation on the back of both sides. On the back of both sides is the finger activator. Now, mind you, do you want to push this all the way out as far as you can to try to get it close to the muzzle? Sure, you want to get it close, but you got to remember uh, relief too. If your finger isn't long enough to reach this button, you certainly got to move it back a little bit. So I can move this button. There's no way behind me. 
and the weapon is clear being that it's fake there is no concern but um, that's how quick it is now um, it's nice the controls of this light are ambidextrous so they're on both sides so plain and simple on or off doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed depending on which button you hit it's accessed right there as soon as you extend your finger so now I'm going to mount it on another weapon and see what we got. So, I'm learning just as you guys would. So this is a Springfield Armory XDM, which is the uh, match grade. It's chambered in 40 caliber. Mind you, again, following YouTube, YouTube monetization procedures, this is not a real weapon, just so it looks like one. This fake weapon is clear. So, like I said, I don't pre-plan these videos. I don't open products and play with them before. A lot of times I'm just opening them and figuring them out. So that screw that I indicated uh, on the opposite side of this quick release switch is to adjust the entire uh, quick release itself. Uh, both of them come in play when it, it uh, refers to activating this thing and attaching it to your firearm. So with the XDM, see the Glock has one little notch here. With the XDM you have, uh, looks like three different notches here to allow you to uh, have a little bit of a, a freedom and adjustment of placing this thing. So you're going to place the base, put that on there, and get your light in position, put that on there, and it is secure. So you would adjust the tension, um, kind of like a uh, locking plier or a vice grip if you want to call it. You would adjust the tension just kind of till it gets kind of snug and then use the quick release to take this thing on and off. Once it's secure, the light is secure, the, the, uh, the level of the light, the, the relief is in the right spot, you have a flashlight mounted on your firearm. And you could either leave this on the firearm to charge it, or you could take it off to charge it, and then just put your, your firearm away. Very, very neat. Um, moving forward, Basically, the entire time that I have this light, it's probably never going to come off. Because I don't I don't use a light when I, I do the competitions. It's probably never going to come off. Um, I'm going to mount this on my 50 caliber Glock. So I'm going to do that now. This is my 50 caliber, 50 caliber Glock from Guncrafter Industries. And again, this is not a real firearm. It just looks like one. And it is clear. So I'm going to attach this uh, mounting base to the weapon. Went up into the notch. I'm going to put the light in the groove. Okay, we got it there. And then I'm going to secure it down. I'm going to adjust it a little bit because it looks like my finger can't reach it there, and there we got it. Right? Or left-handed shooters. It's not loose at all. I'm going to be uh, leaving this on this weapon. I'm going to be doing some shooting today, so I'll talk about the performance of it at the end of this video. But I'm also going to show you some clips now of its performance at nighttime and to illuminate certain things with this firearm. So uh, enjoy the rest of the video, guys, and uh, here we go. All right, here we are. Tonight's comparison, because uh, I do have the Mark Mini Illuminator mounted on the 50 Cal Glock from Guncrafter Industries. I'm going to be comparing it here to the E11 G2, which is a uh, 1300 lumen. So first we got that. Oh, there's Tank. Tank, get over here. Now the Mark Mini Illuminator. As you can see, it's more of a... Even though this is 600 lumens, this is it's an excellent beam. This is a more controlled, tighter beam. It does have quite a bit of spill here, but it's a much tighter beam. Okay, if you're purposing a tree, this is the E11 G2. Just so you know, that tree is uh, 79 feet tall, I believe it is, when I measured it. 
And here is the Mark Mini Illuminator. Definitely a nice type mead. Here's a comparison I do a lot on my channel. Um, the Sand Mountain in the distance is roughly 310, 320 feet. So it's a little over 100 yards. This is the E11 G2 at that distance. You can make out some outlines of the uh, top of the sand mountain and uh, the woods past that. Pretty good. Let's see if I can focus it. There we go. Alright, now the Mark Mini Illuminator. Yeah. Much more focused. Let's see if I can. This is gonna be a hard shot to get here. Here we go. It's nighttime, guys. These nighttime shots are very hard to get something focused. Alright, there we have it, guys. It's the Mark Mini 2. Actually, the indicator light is on. That's pretty neat. So that's showing you that the, uh, the light needs charging and that its uh, most optimal brightness is not being used it kind of steps down so we're gonna charge it and uh, bring it back up to full potential all right uh, we are back the next day uh, only because uh, while I was using the um, the light for your handgun it started to go dead so I feel like uh, the light can actually be brighter so we're gonna do these tests again this is the uh, e11 g2 All right. Let's see get out. And this is the Mark Mini Luminaire mounted on a Glock 50 cal. All right. So yeah, there you go. Uh, much brighter. Let's see, there's that tree I showed yesterday. Much brighter. It's a more focused beam, if you could see that. And definitely projects further than the uh, E11 G2. But don't get me wrong, that's not, you see all the, uh, see all the spill? It does light up a pretty big area, but it does have a really tight center hotspot for if you uh, were using this on a firearm and either had to defend yourself or use this in a line of duty, it certainly can get out there and shine basically on anything that you could hit with this thing at any distance. So yeah, there you go. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the Mark Mini Illuminator provided to you from the PowerTac Corporation. Uh, PowerTac is one of the industry leaders in all tactical flashlights, so make sure you check them out. Links will be in the description below where you can find all their products. I want to thank them for uh, all the support they give the 570. Speaking of support, the 570, uh, Northwest Self Defense Products contacted me and they wanted me to know that all of my faithful viewers, all of you guys, have been leaving comments on their uh, Facebook page and website, letting them know that you're not only love their products, but that you watched my videos to get there. I really appreciate that, guys, and so does he. So he extended the hand of gratitude provided me with a discount code for you guys. If you put in the word pepper into the discount section of your cart when you're uh, purchasing uh, their products, you'll save 15%. So that's awesome. All my sponsors, all my affiliate links are in the description below. I wanna thank everybody who supports the 570. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section about this light. Let me know what you think and we'll see you next time.